Hey guys, what's up? Mech from Mech Tech Gaming here. Today I basically have a revision of my Xbox tutorial on uh, how to record your voice as well as your party chat's voice because I mean it's been one of my most um, popular videos and I think I could have done better so this is basically a revision. So um, we're going to go over uh, how you hook up your um, first year headset um, and that would be a Turtle Beach headset or equivalent as long as it is wired and it has uh, separate cables to go into the computer and the Xbox so it needs to be PC and um, Xbox 360 compatible so um, there's that and then there's also a piece of software on your computer called Audacity and that will allow you to record your voice because you cannot record your voice plus your party's voice at the same time and lastly you need a uh, capture card like a Roxo game capture or whatever um, capture device you use to record your um, Xbox gameplay now just to clear up you do not record your own voice into the same file that you're recording for your Xbox. So if you're recording with a capture device, you're recording the uh, the game video and the game audio. You are also recording your party chats audio. You are not recording your voice at the same time. When you go to edit your video, that is when you will sync up your voice with the party chat, and I will show you how that's done as well. So. Um, get right to it. Here is um, my Turtle Beach uh, X12s and this is what comes with it. You have the USB for power, you have the the green 3.5 millimeter jack and that will go into um, the uh, green outlet on the PC which would be your headphone jack um, Typically they're green. Uh, and then we have the pink, which may be red on your PC. And this has nothing to do with the Xbox. This is purely PC. If you want to record using the mic on your PC, this goes into your mic jack, which is, like I said, usually color-coded pink or red. That's just for PC. For Xbox, what comes with the uh, headset, and this is how a lot of um, gaming headsets, uh, especially the wired ones, are set up to work with the Xbox. Um, it does not have to be a Turtle Beach. Uh, any gaming headset or you know whatever headset that, that has something like this, something like these, to especially hook into the Xbox, that should work just fine. So this is what comes with the the headset to. Um, basically what will run the sound from the Xbox to the headset. Um, so, this jack here, which would go into PC if we were doing the PC um, audio, um, but for the Xbox it goes into this um, little adapter here. And then these, this is where the sound comes from. Now when we go to your Xbox here, in order for this to work, you need um, one of these. This goes to the back of the Xbox and they usually you can buy these uh, standalone by themselves um, and sometimes they have a bundle that um, allows you to get a HDMI cable and one of these but this goes in the back of your Xbox right next to the HDMI port and Simply, you line up the red and the white, just like so. Now that that's hooked up to here, and it's hooked up into your Xbox, all you need now is some power. And that can go anywhere. That can go into the back of the uh, Xbox, or the front, in any of the USB ports, or you can just plug it into your PC's USB port if your PC is near your Xbox. What I like to do is I hook it into my PC so I'm not using up any USB um, ports on my Xbox and 
I plug this into my PC and I leave it in there. There's no point in taking it out because it's my primary um, uh, voice recording mic at the moment. So you leave this plugged in and it's uh, ready to go whenever you want to record. Now be mindful, like I said, that you're not recording your voice into whatever game capture software you're using. You must use Audacity or something similar so that you can capture your voice separate and then put it into your video when you add um, whatever uh, game capture software you used. So uh, what's next is how to set up your Xbox the way that it will work to record the uh, voice chat. So here we are at the Xbox dashboard, and what you want to do is go all the way over to settings. Go to preferences, and voice. Now the reason why we need to change some settings here is you want to make sure that the party chat's voice is coming out of your speakers and your headset. So you want to switch voice output to play through both. So that way, not only are you going to be hearing it through your headset, but you're also going to have the voice going through your speakers, which is being transmitted through the game capture device. So it's basically coming through your game capture device as if it was a uh, game sound. So it's going to get recorded. So you want to make sure the voice volume is turned all the way up to 10 so that you can hear it. And I like to put the game volume on one, and what that does is whenever somebody speaks in voice chat, it will lower the game volume so that you can hear them. And that can tend to help when you're trying to record party chat, because sometimes the game will be overpowering the voice of your um, party chat. Um, but I have noticed with some games, it just it overpowers the, the uh, party chat no matter what. I mean, you can hear them, but it won't come out um, when it gets recorded. And the only way you can combat that is if you can turn the game sound down um, in the game settings. So that way all you're doing is just turning up your uh, headset so you can still hear the game sound, but it will come through louder um, as far as voice does. But some games, such as Halo 4, you cannot do that. Um, I found in Halo 4, the game was always overpowering the voice of my uh, teammates when I uh, was recording. Um, but games like, uh, say, Black Ops 2, no problem at all. And if there was a problem, you can uh, change the volume settings. So, that's all you need to do here. Alright, the next thing you need to do is you need to download... Audacity. And if you do not have Audacity and you do not want to use it, you can use something else, whatever you would like to use for a um, voice capture software. Um, anything will do. Um, but I like Audacity because it works, it's simple, it's free. Um, all you have to do is go to um, audacity.com and just download the software. It's very easy to use. And I will link that in the description below for you to go and download it. So, Pull up Audacity, and it looks a little complicated with all these buttons and everything here, but really it's not. All you want to do is simply press record, and you start recording. To make sure that your uh, microphone is selected, you go to this drop down bar here, and when you have your microphone uh, selected on your computer, where you right click on the speaker here and go to recording devices and see how this is lighting up here when I speak. Well, when you enable your different uh, devices here that can record, um, this will pop up and when you speak, it will light up like this. And then by figuring that out, you right click on that and you, um, you put it as your uh, default. So, um, basically, once you figure that out, this is the microphone IDT, a high definition audio. When you figure that out, you go up to here, and here it is. Microphone IDT, high definition. So you choose that one. What I like to do is I like to click on this little microphone icon here. And what that does is, see how it's bouncing up and down like that? It's basically monitoring my voice and it's letting me know that it's working properly. 
Once you've finished recording, you go up to File, and you click on Export, and then you can give it a name and where you can put it so you can find it again to then put it into your video. So, once you have that all set up, uh, there's one more uh, detail that is very important that I had to kind of figure it out for myself. Um, I like to call it the one, two, three technique. And what that is, is you will go onto your Xbox dashboard, you find anything as an example. I usually would use the uh, Xbox guide menu. And basically what you do is, when you press that record button on Audacity or your um, voice recording software, and you are then recording for your game session, you need to sync up first before you do anything else. So you start recording on your capture device, you start recording on Audacity, and before you do anything, you open up the guide menu, and you go down the menu and you count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And basically what that does is it gives you a uh, point of reference to go back to once you go to um, edit your video. So I'll quickly show you what that looks like. So when you're at your dashboard and you are ready to sync up, simply open the guide menu, like I said, and once you're recording in Audacity and on your uh, capture device for the Xbox, all you do is you simply go down the menu and as you do, count as you uh, select each different menu. So you basically go one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's it. Now what that does is when you go into your, your uh, video editing software, you will see the sound waves and you can use you can use those as your point of reference to line up so now your voice is going to be synced with the audio on your xbox and when you start cutting and splitting and and uh, moving things around in your uh, video it's going to line up so next i'm going to show you what it looks like to sync these up so you are now ready to edit your video. You have your voice chat recorded, the game footage recorded, you have your own voice recorded. Time to edit. I like to use Sony Vegas. You don't have to use Sony Vegas if you don't have it or if you don't want to. Any video editing software will do, but I think this works best. So first thing you need to do is to get your media. I'm going to use uh, some media from one of my previous videos, if I can find it. Now just drag your video file to the track, as well as your audio file of your voice. Now this might look a little daunting with all the um, sound waves going everywhere, but it's really quite simple. You just zoom in really far, and you'll see these little dots here. That's your one, two, threes. So. As you can see really, really closely in my uh, my sound waves here for my voice file, you got one, two, three, one, two, three, and it's the same on the audio file for my video here. Now all I have to do is I'll just click on this first one to get my cursor there, and then I'll drag this over. And line it up best I can. It doesn't need to be, you know, perfect. As long as it's close. There we go. So now as you can see, they line up. You got one, two, three, and one, two, three here and here. So now we'll just play it back to make sure it's right. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that's all there is to it. I mean, once you do that, you're all synced up. Now, you can go uh, to the video after that and start doing your splits. Um, what I like to do is, I'll just create a new video track and I'll click up the top here, so now they're all gonna 
get uh, split at the same time. And then you can start deleting. And now it's synced up no matter what. So when you start moving stuff around, you're just going to make sure that you cut in the same place. So if I want to say, you know, I'll cut like, uh, like right here in between these two here, I'm clicking up, up on this empty track. So it's going to cut all of them. Basically it's like when you, uh, select that top track, it's cutting all the way down. So I cut delete. <laughs> I'll edit that part out. <laughs> no, don't. I, I can just edit you out completely, Luther. Did you know that can actually... So, as you can see right there, it's synced up with my uh, Party Chats voice. And that's all there is to it, guys. So, um, I really hope this helps. I know my, uh, my old video of this was, meh, not the best. Um, but a lot of people seem to um, like it and had helped by it. Um, this video probably turned out to be a little longer than my old one, but I wanted to be um, really thorough in how this is is done because I got a lot of questions on my last video. And uh, feel free to ask questions still. Um, I will try to answer them the best I can, as quickly as I can. Um, but I just thought that I, I needed to redo this. So anyways... Uh, that is how you set up your headset for uh, recording your voice and your uh, party chat at the same time on Xbox 360. So, um, if you enjoyed the video or if it helped, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already if you want to see more. And thanks for watching, guys. This is Mech from Mech Tech Gaming. I'll see you guys next time.